Hey guys, welcome back and today we are going to do something different. So I recently bought this Cloud Walker TV from Flipkart and I have had this TV for like almost a week and uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell you my review of it, tell you how the TV is how it's performing so that at least you will know better about it so let's go on uh, i won't say it's a review review but yeah this is my impression of the tv so uh, first we're gonna look what we have got in the box uh, the first thing we have is uh, a user manual uh, obviously it has a warranty card also which is inside and it comes with uh, a two-year warranty as what i have seen from flipkart that's what they said so this is the uh, user manual you have some screws and warranty card uh, the other thing we have out here is um, a wall mount now i didn't have to uh, use this wall mount because i already had a sony bravia so it can be used i mean i've used my sony bravia uh, wall mount on it uh, other thing we have out here apart from wall mount we have in the box is this stand i guess this stand is something if you are not you know mounting your tv obviously you can have it as a stand on a table or something and the other thing that we have out here is a remote uh, which has two led and it's also known as air mouse so this is the air mouse button just press once and i believe it uh, becomes a mouse a wireless mouse for your tv so this is what we have in the box so let's go ahead and say start the tv and see how it is so before we install the TV, remove my Bravia and replace it with the Cloud Walker. Okay. And now here, if I have to see, um, I think uh, it's a really, I wouldn't say great design. It's just a normal design uh, for a flat TV. And a good thing is that uh, it comes up for like 30,000 approximately on Flipkart. These are the features. Obviously, it's a LED 4K smart TV. It has something called as content discovery engine. It's an Android TV. It has an app store. It has X Luminous. It has Wi-Fi inbuilt wireless, uh, wireless mirror screen, 3 HDMI ports and two USB. Now, uh, what we are going to do out here is, uh, if the first impression, if you see uh, the bezel out here is very thin. I mean, I don't see, because compared to my Sony Bravia, which I had for like almost more than three, four years, um, it, has, it had a fat bezel. And compared to this, it is really very smooth. Uh, if we have to check at the back, we can see uh, there is uh, there are USB ports then there is a micro SD card reader also at the back uh, along with the uh, two USB ports and a micro SD card reader we also have an HDMI port where you can see already a wire is connected so this is what we have at the other side of it and you can see it's very spacious uh you know the, the, it's very spacious behind if you compare it because the only reason what i feel is that as these tvs they emit a lot of heat so just to provide you know prevent the overheating they have made such panel let's see what's under it. Uh, two hdmi ports and spdif and ethernet port so that is what we have at the bottom. Let's go ahead and uh, try to boot this TV with the air mouse or the super remote. Put it on. We have the Cloud Walker boot screen. 
so as it's booting up uh, this I'll let you know about its specifications uh, it has a a53 dual core processor uh, a 720 Mali dual graphic card with 8 GB of internal memory and it has inbuilt Wi-Fi now I as this TV this variant does not have a Bluetooth so but there are other variants which is like I think uh, 55 and 60 uh, inches TV the top models I would say they have inbuilt Bluetooth so this is a 43 inch uh, 4k led it's not curved they also have a curved way, uh, version but this is not the curved tv so let's go ahead and check out what else do we have in this tv so here it is so the tv home screen if we have to see you have content discovery engine uh, which is as something which comes onto your screen it gives you it suggests you uh, different kind of uh, videos uh, available online like Padmavati trailer then all different kinds of uh, you know videos it suggests to you as it's a smart TV it will have the Wi-Fi date time and uh, well that's my google uh, dp it's because it requires google gmail account to log in and over here the screen which we see it's nothing but it's my ps4 screen i mean this screen shows us hdmi connected on it so whatever hdmi is connected one two there are three ports so whatever you've connected whatever is active will show up here or whatever was last used will be shown here now let's check the other screens uh, what I'm gonna do out here is turn on the air mouse okay and here it is uh, the debut of the air mouse so here below uh, we'll see so below we have these options like uh, TV apps settings my media and CDE which is content discovery engine so we're gonna look each and every uh, option out here so we'll check what do we have with we have two more pages so we'll check those pages now so here's the second page okay so it's nothing but it's just a suggestion what you can watch here we have apps so if you go in all apps it's nothing but this this one add a button is here just to uh, add shortcut to your apps like how i have a youtube app so here i'll check all the apps which is installed out here airplay app manager browser so these are the apps which are already installed hotstar boot yes these do work on the TV uh, geo cinema so now it's very easy to manage these apps as well you can install it from the Play Store out here and you can uninstall as well so here in the app manager you have an option to uninstall it's really simple to uninstall anything now for example if i need to uninstall the screen recorder which is not compatible with the tv so i'm going to uninstall it select uninstall it's complete basically it's very easy to use out here um now let's check some other options uh, settings in settings you have user details here's my email address my profile basically Google profile network will give you details about how you want to connect your TV to the internet you can either connect it with the uh, cable Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi so this is it time help about so you can pause it and read it general language input system update 
so when i bought this tv obviously it had two updates available uh, one for the august and another for september so still waiting for the october update i mean as of now no update has come here we have an option called my media my media is basically if you connect any usb device to the tv here you can watch videos if it has music you can watch music whatever you have on your usb device you will be able to watch it and coming back to cde the content discovery so whatever you want to search uh, whatever you want to see like i'll search for wwe so here it will give me all the videos on available online So basically it's nothing but it's it's an easy way for you to watch random videos on a specific topic let's go ahead and see uh, the tv's uh, video quality now i'm just gonna switch to uh my tv app okay so this is how the standard uh video looks like it's not an hd video it's a standard video how the hd channel looks like So this is how now let's try to check uh, 4k I'm just gonna go to uh, YouTube right now so this is the YouTube video uh, 4k video but I'm kind of disappointed because it does not have uh, the HD support uh, or 4k support to it so that is something which I'm not happy right now with but I do have uh, 4k videos downloaded on a pen drive and connected to my tv so let's try to check that so we'll go to my media and go to videos 4k because this video i don't know for some reason it's not supported on this tv it's a 4k even these are the 4k let's play these so guys this is the actual 4k video let's go near it to watch the definition You can see the pixels as well now let's play some other video i do have other videos as well Trying to check uh, how my PS4 looks after it's connected. So that's how the match starts. Yes, for we are just gonna look at uh, how the YouTube works on it. Now we're playing it in HD, so it, it works pretty well. I mean, there is no issue with the streaming as of now. Try a bit of uh, hot star as well.
then we also have wood we'll try one video from it so here's a clip from big boss on playing on wood so it pretty much plays uh, most of things uh, very well except for geo cinema app I mean, in geo cinema app you won't be able to maximize the video so that's one downside maybe with the update we'll have something out here something called as cloud share server that we have on this uh, we have to download uh, a software called cloud link uh, which is nothing but it is yeah cloud tv remote so we have to download it so that you can use there are multiple uh, features to it you can use it as a remote you can see here i am moving the mouse and it's the same out on the tv so in this we have a mouse option i don't know if you can see out here i'm moving my finger out here and the mouse is moving on the tv so pretty much you can use it as a keyboard i mean you can put a keyboard you can type on it there are multiple uh, things to it uh, the other thing is tv uh, we have a mirror now if we have to see uh, it's not very fast it has a, a certain lag to it you saw the lag it was almost like seven seconds so it is like not stable uh, it still needs some work maybe update we might have something uh, then we have something called as TV mirror so what it does is it gets your TV screen here on your mobile phone screen so what we're gonna do out here is we are gonna go back home oops selected home select TV option it's pretty laggy as well so okay so we are at the TV option now so we'll just go to next screen this thing I guess uh, still needs uh, much work onto it because it is really laggy doesn't work uh, as we want so other option that we have out here among this is the camera we'll select the camera and we'll see what happens okay so you can see me out here on the TV so this is one of the feature that we have on on this so this is what you can see on the screen overall i would say that it's not a bad tv i mean for 30000 you're getting a 4k tv wherein if you compare it with lg samsung or sony uh, the most cheapest one that I've seen uh, for KTV was with uh, for, for 60,000 price range. Uh, here you're getting the same for half price. However, I know it's a new brand, so obviously they will have less features than what you have with the biggest brands. But over the time, uh, they will definitely grow. Uh, we are waiting for some more software update to fix all the glitches like mirror, screen mirror glitches and all so that is one thing um, well as of now what I feel it's a, it's a good TV um, probably worth your money that's that's what I feel okay, so guys I will drop a link for this to buy this TV in the description box below so you can check that out and also uh, for now guys this was my first attempt for review i mean i'm not a reviewer just a attempt hopefully you like it uh, do comment down below if you really want to see some more reviews 
uh until for now guys stay healthy keep your parents happy and like always keep gaming goodbye